four straight season-ending injuries, including two torn ACLs. But he stayed healthy with the Huskies, and now he's one win away from a national title. Once they entered the ballpark tonight, they weren't about to rest. In fact, they went to work in recruiting their favorite non-Mariner all-star. It's Bethel, it's Emerald Ridge, it's King Five's big game, two teams at four and one. UW came into this game battle-tested, but everyone thought that this would be the battle where they finally fell. Instead, they flew. The real Kraken stood up for game one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. The result was chef's kiss, and they followed a similar recipe to the one that made them so successful during stretches of the regular season. Now, are you bumpers or no bumpers? No, nah, no, no, nah, I don't use bumpers. Okay, there you go. I mean, he's a professional athlete. If you're using bumpers, I don't know what to tell you. Greg, me shooting in the 50s is not going to be pictured in the Olympics this year, but it should be. Remember, this is a guy who notoriously wears his heart on his sleeve. He's even said that Sherman is one of his mentors. He would love to have a Richard Sherman type game tonight. We're deep in the heart of Texas and deep in the heart is exactly where the crack and hit the stars in game one. Can you take me through the process of what it takes to build something like this? The same exact gate that Seattle native Corbin Carroll has walked through countless times as a fan. This isn't fan fiction though. If you look closely, you'll see Corbin Carroll is one of the faces of baseball. If you can't beat him, hire him. The Seahawks were so impressed by what Mike McDonald did to their offense earlier this year. They decided to make him the ninth head coach in team history. UW says they'll be mindful of the mental health of their student athletes as they make the transition to a conference base in the Midwest. It happened so fast, but it was kind of a long road to get here. You, you weren't named an all-star until very late in the process. Were you frustrated by that at all? The better our options get. Days after Klyovkov said that Colorado left the conference and days after that, a potential deal went public. It was widely criticized by the public, but more importantly, the nine remaining schools hated it. Tu amistad que tienes con Luis Castillo. Well, it wasn't just Black Friday for the Seahawks, but a black and blue Friday as they physically and emotionally recover. How much joy does it bring you that you are leaving women's soccer overall, both in Seattle and across the country, in a better place than what it was when you when you started. Busy day here at the MLB draft. The busiest team of all was the Seattle Mariners. They had three first round picks, the most they've ever had under Jerry DePoto. So the message for today was don't mess it up. Both Penix and the Huskies leave each other better than they found each other. Reporting in Houston, live at Climate Pledge Arena, inside T-Mobile Park, at Lumen Field. Reporting in New Orleans, outside the Superdome. I'm Jake from State Farm Stadium, King 5 Sports. Green it's a scene out of a John Denver song, sub the country road for a reservation one. It's so warm in here. And it takes us to a home on the Tulalip Tribe Reservation. What's Cincinnati's record? The Battle Family. One plate. Tonight gathered to watch son, brother, grandson, Raekwon battle on the big screen. Let's go, about time, let's go. Dinner is served and grace is said. This family grateful because of what's been taken away. We don't go quiet. Raekwon's mom, Jackie, a single mom of five boys. I'm mama bear. And her love ranges further than the Appalachians. He brings unity in a community, family. The battles are loud for this clash against Cincinnati. Call that, thank you. Call it again. Let's go. But at the start of the year, they were forced to sit in silence. It wasn't fair at all. Oh, hell no. Raekwon prevented from playing because of the NCAA's two-time transfer rule. Really hard on us. <laughs> just Not just him, but as a family. For Raekwon, it was one loss after another. Losing his sport paled in comparison to losing his support system. Raekwon spent his first two seasons playing college basketball at UW. He wanted to stay close to home, but that meant staying close to tragedy. She passed away of COVID. Raekwon's grandmother, Geraldine Williams, was 82. Battle then transferred to Montana State after his sophomore year, but he couldn't escape the reality of the reservation. Losing family members to drugs, alcohol. His best friend who I took in as a foster kid, who's my son, passed away of overdose. Fentanyl. Junior Shea was a brother to Raekwon. Raekwon told us in December after Junior's death, he needed to leave the West entirely. I didn't want to kind of stay home and get drowned, you know, drowned into the negative aspects of what goes on back over here. More focused away, the further away. Raekwon chose West Virginia because of a shared experience. I ended up meeting, you know, Coach Josh, our head coach. It felt like home away from home. He grew up on a reservation in South Dakota for a couple years and that he kind of made me feel a little more at home. But the NCAA made the homecoming feel like heartbreak. And this is a message for the NCAA. Raekwon had to petition to play after he was ruled ineligible. A video on social media said basketball was therapy. The NCAA has already acknowledged my mental health ailment. It hurts to sit on the sideline knowing 
you know, you're being held back. I was determined to play this year, you know what I mean? And nobody was going to stop me from playing, even if it was the NCAA itself. His call to action reached thousands, making it to the doorstep of the state capitol, where the West Virginia governor rallied behind Raekwon. This kid needs to play basketball. He needs it really bad. A judge then issued a restraining order against the NCAA and Raekwon returned. Shot from the battle. He had 29 points in his season debut. I felt like, you know, I had a whole army behind me pretty much. One month later, this army is ready for battle. Pop that, baby. Raekwon is now West Virginia's leading scorer. His family says it's a familiar sight. He used to make 20 points a game all the time, 30 sometimes. On this night, it was only 10, but three of them were magical. Uh -oh. <laughs> the go-ahead three-pointer, that wound up being the game winner. A win after a series of losses. Clutch. I'm just very, very proud. Uh, more than anybody could think. For Raekwon, his new home is almost heaven. It doesn't stop here, it's just the beginning. <laughs> West Virginia is the place battle belongs. On the Tulalip Reservation, Jake Garcia, King 5 Sports. This is the path less traveled at the University of Puget Sound. Some days are lonelier than others, but loneliness is an okay price to pay when you're the first. Cut. What? The Loggers football team Cut. likes to say its linebacker group is lined with thorns Hello. and lilies. The camera's for Lily. Lily Godwin, a 19-year-old sophomore, a Division III football player, and a woman. 20 personnel, 20 personnel. They announced my name, and I remember the guys on the other sideline being like, whoa. That's the reaction Lily's gotten her entire life. But here at UPS, it's for all the right reasons. She's a dog. I mean, she's just like the rest of us. Head coach Jeff Thomas had never had a female football player until Lily arrived last year. What? Uncharted territory, but the fit has been off the charts. We didn't feel like it would be fair from the athletic administration through through our football office to, to do something and not do it well. It was clear that they had thought intentionally about how I would fit in every aspect of the program. From laundry, lockers, and her own room on the road, Lily was welcomed with open arms, and her signature open arm tackles quickly endeared her to the team. She shows up every day and works hard and doesn't want anything given to her, um, so she can't help but be respected on her team. Those are the seeds Lily has left everywhere she's been. Down in Arizona, her high school coach, Daniel Cardiel, said Lily was the literal heartbeat of his team. She didn't just play linebacker. She also ran the ball. She was our running back as well. Without her, there wouldn't have been a team. And now that she's gone, there isn't one. After she left, uh, the following year, uh, we didn't have enough players coming out, so we canceled the season. Sequoia Charter School in Mesa now only has flag football. It's a situation Lily dealt with as a freshman before she rallied enough players to field a tackle team her sophomore year. Her mom said even still, it wasn't ideal. During practices, only half of the people that said they were gonna play would show up. A dark situation, but Lily managed to find the light. Yes! As we like moved into uh, tackle football, like all the things about football were like making sense. It was clicking for me. One problem tackled her next tackle was even sweeter. 157 to play fourth quarter. It happened this year at this stadium against Linfield, October 21st, the moment where Lily planted roots. The boundary corner was playing man, so my responsibilities run game. I could see it in my head. Lily's dad was watching on the live stream. The fullback was just coming up the middle. Patting my feet, because that's what we got to do. She went, OK, let's go. Shuffled along uh, the back, trying to track the ball. Just boom. I just filled the hole that was there. It was amazing to watch. Like, I saw it, and I was like, oh, yeah. There were a lot of expletives. Dwight was going through all the fields and for good reason. It's my daughter's first tackle in a college football game. Yes, that's awesome. Not just a first for her, a first for everyone. I am the first uh, uh, woman to make an unassisted tackle in NCAA football history. <laughs> it's so weird to think about because I did not even realized just how unique what I was doing was. Lily's taken the trail less traveled because she's a trailblazer. They get so confused sometimes when they see um, that it's it's a woman who's doing this. While that path can be a lonely one, she wasn't alone when she did this. They all rubbed it. The whole stadium went absolutely crazy. And that made all the difference. 
Lily was the first. She knows she won't be the last. I would love for it to just get to a point where it's just, oh, it's a girl, and you just, like, move on. It's just a natural thing. At the University of Puget Sound, Jake Garcia, King 5 Sports.